we're gonna have a quick little snip about uh, about prototyping and designing I'm gonna keep this keep it simple stupid All right so when you're designing these things you want to keep it simplistic to the point where that object that you are creating first and foremost when you design it design it to fulfill the purpose that you want it to fulfill before going into anything else in this case in my case it would be since I have like four or five pairs of different pairs of headphones I do like me around ear and on ear I don't like them earbuds really really don't like them but yes I have quite a few pair including a gaming headset and I need uh, a pretty good place to store them right so for me that would be hanging them on the wall or something like that so I need a wall mount and this is what we have here I just finished this up I lost the footage of me doing it because it got disconnected from server but whatever that would be this object here and I design it to fulfill the purpose. I want it to simply hang it. Keep it simple, stupid. We have the bar that the headphones are going to be sitting on, and we have a bottom foot, if you can call it a foot, because this is what's going to be supporting the weight on whatever you're hanging this, what I'm going to be hanging this. Just to make this more visual. It's an actual foot right it's more visual that way but this is gonna be supporting the weight of the headphones that I'm going to be hanging on this okay so you want to design whatever you're going to design first and foremost to fulfill the purpose you want it to fulfill like say you want something to hold something like a basket or a hamper you want to make a gear you want to make something really intricate like say an auto feeder and you need a, a small hopper you're probably going to need a worm screw and some gears and a computer to control it you want to design to fulfill the purpose worry about getting the job done before you go into making it look pretty save your STL go on YouTube go to my favorite site BAM Shapeways 3D printing service there are a number of services out here that do do this there is even one that it will connect you with a local 3d printer someone who has a 3d printer and you can get your objects made like that you're just gonna have to discuss those with the owner of the 3d printer all right and upload please wait while your model is being uploaded there's another 3D printing service that I like, iMaterialize, right, they're, they're pretty much the same as Shapeways, except I believe they located out of the country, not entirely, yeah, located outside of the country, and their materials are a little bit different, and you do get some pretty exotic stuff from them, like you can get a full-on metal casting of the object or whatever you're going to make, but that drives up the cost significantly. It's a bit of a pain in the ass when this happens. You think, hey, my new ISP is going to be great, right? But you're wrong. You're wrong. You're totally wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. But yes. They'll give you a simple check and you can holy crap sixteen thousand dollars wow wow 
just wow that is that is incredible but yes it'll give you a list of materials that it can be done in it'll give you the cost and it'll let you view any structural issues with the object that you can manually repair in the model or you can have them repair it you're basically giving them permission to <sighs> I'm so sorry this is taking so long I'm going to view the 3D tool but yes you can go over material costs and stuff like that this one called me this <laughs> I got mush mouth right now but yes this one would cost me nine dollars and three cents in total and it's it's breaking down the cost see and it'll tell you everything you need to know about the object and how much it's gonna cost to produce it I believe this is uh this is using a standard 3D printing using filament. I don't believe I know of a service that does SLA resin printing. <sighs> Whoa. There we go. And why isn't my model showing? Yeah. I don't know what's going on with their site right now, but whatever. I'll show you I materialize as well. Yeah, there's something going on with this site. Probably having some server issues, or I'm probably connecting via some weird servers that suck. I also like Redbubble too. Redbubble is a fun little site as well. Back to the discussion at hand. Again. Keep it simple, fulfill the purpose, then worry about appearance. Unless you're designing around appearance, then that's going to be a little bit more difficult there. That's always more difficult. I'll tell you that much. That usually is. like I materialize as well Apple accessory challenge oh no that's adorable that is adorable fudge a hedron fudgy drawn but no oh, what I don't I'm just I'm gonna go now I'm, I'm gonna go to my original purpose <laughs> oh my original purpose to show you a quick snippet of I materialize oh nope nope millimeters Hopefully their servers ain't being butt right now. Because it seems like I uh, switched my ISP. Some things run smoother than before, and then some things is like, what the hell happened to my speed? I'm just gonna shut up now. Remember. 
fulfill the purpose then worry about being pretty in aesthetics as long as it's doing its purpose as long as that purpose is fulfilled what it's made to do then you pretty much succeeded in what you were planning for always to fit the purpose Okay, poop peeps. That's it for me. Kept it as simple as I could. All right, I'm out. <laughs>